The 9th Commonwealth Youth Ministers Meeting took place between 31st July to 4th August 2017. Hosted in Kampala, Uganda, under the theme Resourcing and Financing Youth Development, Empowering the Youth. Our job is to deliver concrete policy recommendations and practical commitments to action that will transform the life chances of the young man. What is the way forward? What's the strategic solution? What are the problems? What are the challenges? What is the way, what is the way ahead to apprehend all the possible so solutions to the accessible problems that are out there right now? I believe this space will give us a fora to discuss how young people's resourcing and financing should be done, but most importantly, how we can professionalize youth work to ensure that young people become the key beneficiaries and there's meaningful participation in their engagement and that uh, every form of financing that goes to young people benefits them and empowers them. The youth ministers recognized that young people make a critical contribution to national development while acknowledging that huge challenges exist in financing young people's needs, including their education and health. With a population of over 70 percent young people and about 1.8 billion young people worldwide, this presents a unique opportunity for the youth in Uganda. Every youth needs to have a plan of action based on their dreams. But the environment that is set the dreams for the youth is financed by government. It is therefore very pertinent that government comes out clearly to put in place strong policies on resourcing and financing the youth's dreams. One of the major outcomes was an agreement to establish a new Commonwealth Youth Ministerial Task Force composing of 10 members and will champion policy recommendations from Commonwealth Youth Ministers' Meeting. If we can understand the ideology, then a lot of things such as financing, sourcing, uh, would be addressed. Ministers reaffirmed that young people are central to helping the world achieve the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and are ready and willing to do so.